Hey guys, Richard here with High Caliber Carpentry. I'm gonna show you one of the meals that you might see me eating out on a job site. I don't always make it, and sometimes I have to go out for fast food. I'm gonna show you how I make my amazing burrito, and I'm hungry right now. So, I hope this video provides you with some delicious content that'll get you on the go real quick, something you can make. It probably takes you about five minutes in the morning, and uh, it'll get you staying on site so that you can just eat, and get back to work without having to worry about all the traffic and the distractions in between. Let's get at it. Brian, what you know about that adobo seasoning? Boy, I'm just tripping out of the white dudes telling me about making a bean burrito. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. All right, so you got a good a amount of here. white boy. <laughs> First, I got the refried pinto beans here that I normally get in the larger cans, and I'll just put them into these smaller containers here. So this dish will consist of mostly beans. I don't do any meat. It just involves more prep time. I'll do sour cream. I've got my Goya adobo here and uh, some Cholula for, for taste and a little bit of spice. Let's see what else. I do some cheese. I, Mexican cheese would be the best, but I've got some shredded cheese that we'll be using here as well. I think I said sour cream already. And obviously tortillas so we got it mashed in pretty good there what I'll do is I'll take what I consider to fill up one of my tortillas and I got my tortillas up here I'll show you while we're at it I'll take a couple of spoonfuls good hefty spoonfuls of what I would feel fills up a tortilla and that's what I'll put into my bowl now I'm just doing this for show I already know how much I want so the next usually what I'll do is I'll just dump it right into the bowl, but that was just to illustrate to you how much I put in each one. I'll do about the same, a good hefty spoon, and another good hefty spoon, with a little bit to chew on afterwards, just in case. Alright. We filled up our bowl here. I'm going to put some adobo on it. And this one here is the all-purpose Goya adobo. It's amazing stuff, by the way. I'm going to mix that in and heat it up. I mixed it in. I'm going to heat it up for minute 30. My trash out of the way. So this is good now. I'm going to put this in the fridge for later for my next meal. I've got my sour cream out and my sharp shredded, fancy shredded cheddar cheese right there. I'll wait till that's done. So we got it good. Make sure it's stirred up nicely because this microwave heats unevenly from the bottom to the top. It's weird. You can see some steam rising. Mm. It's already tasting good. Okay. Got the adobo. And from here on, I'll be mixing everything in this mixture before I put it on the tortilla. Everything that's in this bowl would replicate is replicated. Like if I got a little to-go bowl, that's what I'm showing you guys, so it's easy to take out on site and then put on your tortillas when you get there. I don't suggest putting the food into the tortilla and then transporting it out there because during the work day, it's going to make your tortilla soggy and you are going to not have an enjoyable meal because it's going to fall apart in your hands. Unless you like that kind of thing. Stir it up good and get you a couple of spoonfuls now remember remember you've got two burritos worth of beans in here so put everything in there real good i'll take a couple of dips in my cheddar cheese here as if i'm filling each one looks like a burrito's worth there burritos worth there oh I forgot about the salsa oh man 
I'm not going to have enough bowl here. It's awesome. Put you a little bit of salsa in. Alright, so we've got the burrito gook in here and the delicious nutrition. Again, uh, beans are always good for you. They got so much nutrition. They're high in protein and they're also good in carbs. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to uh, work. It gives you energy to work. It gives you a good uh, filling, satiated feel so you don't feel like you got to go back for more like fast food often does for you. That is super high in calories. Like maybe, I don't know, like two 2,000 calories in a meal for that. Here we're only looking at, I, I know that's not 140 for this whole thing because serving size is a half cup. We probably put about a cup and a half in there. So, uh, again, it's, it's low on the calories. It's good for you. It's quick to make. It's easy to prep. Put it all in a bowl. All you've got to do is, is what my bag looks like is, is my to-go bowl. And then I, I, I put my tortillas on top of it. And then I'll uh, uh, take the spoon. I'll rinse it off. Put the spoon in there with it. I'll probably put a banana in there for like a, a snack or something. Probably put you a pack of nabs in there as well. So, overall... This is a delicious meal. It's easy to make. It's good for you. It's nutrient dense. It'll give you the energy that you need for the rest of the day until it comes time for supper. I think I might have made a, a little bit more than what I, I bargained on, but... I don't want to offend you guys by showing you how to do a burrito, but what I normally do is just tuck the back end up over there and then fold in the sides and it'll leak out the back a little bit. But by the time you get back there, it'll be mostly gone anyway. And just push the excess up into there. Just work with it, guys. Just do you. And then you just get to nomin. Mmm. Oh, yeah, so good. Lord, we thank you for this day, and we thank you for this meal of a delicious burrito. That's a blessing to have it, and we ask that you bless, nourish it to the goodness of our bodies, and bless the hands who prepared and supply it to us. Uh, bless it to the goodness and nourishment of our bodies and the people who supplied and prepared for us so that we can enjoy this moment with delicious taste buds. Thank you, Lord. Jesus' name, amen. If you're hungry, if you're not hungry, that's, that's good stuff right there. Like and subscribe. <clears throat> this channel brought you <clears throat> a little bit hot there. This channel brought you some value and motivation to becoming a better person. That's the point of this these videos is to inspire people to become better versions of themselves. And show you that carpentry is more than just carpentry. It's a whole life concept. You should go watch some more videos. Or tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see. Be blessed. And go inspire others, guys. That's a good, fast, quick meal. Keep you on site. Keep you efficient. Working hard. And getting back at it in 15-20 minutes. Enjoy, guys.